Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Rome 2 Total War with the Caesar and Gaul campaign. Last time we took a back Viso from the Nervi and we almost killed their king, or uh, I don't know what happened to him. He got lost in the forest anyways. Hopefully we'll find the bastard. Uh, as of last time, we also had another battle, which I was hoping actually would be a bridge battle. Uh, as I would move the f one of my legions across, they would attack and we would kind of have a bridge battle. Uh, which would be kind of cool because I hadn't have uh, I haven't had a bridge battle so far. But because I outnumber the enemy by a thousand men, uh, due to the fact I've got three legions as com kind of compared to theirs two, uh, they chose to retreat. But they don't have... Um, like a lot of options of where to retreat. They've got a river going through here. Uh, this guy managed to somehow get over anyways. Um, but anyways, they went down here into a marsh, which means they actually suffered attrition. So I think they would probably have done a better job holding the bridge. Anyways, uh, they've retreated once, they cannot retreat once more. I just realized this, this guy's got the fat uh, Spiky pig and this one's got the really thin one. I guess this one's the supermodel. Um, with that said, we're gonna bring the uh, seventh to attack because they they have the Magnus Ballista. Um, so since they're a uh, what's it called a stationary unit, they wouldn't be able to reinforce and join the battle. It actually puts the enemy in favor now, so I don't know why they retreated last time, but hey, um, hopefully uh, my cavalry will not die <laughs> as per usual, and that um, will win, and also that I'll not forget to uh, save the replay. And so, on to the marshlands for a battle. And so, the marshland lay before us, knee-deep in marsh water. The legionnaires are ready to take on the enemy. Um, my reinforcements are gonna come, one from over here, which I gather is probably Caesar, which is gonna turn up over here. And then we've got Mark Anthony turning up over here. It's not going to be super easy for the cavalry to maneuver here, since we got uh, a large portion of the map covered in water, which they have to throw to this needy water. It also might affect uh, the ability of the Magnus Ballista to inflict damage upon the enemy. I'm putting it kind of at an angle because I'm expecting the enemy's reinforcement to kind of come from somewhere over here by the river. Um, and with that, let's start the battle. So I'm hoping it's coming in in sequence so I don't get like part Caesar and part uh, Anthony. Our reinforcements have arrived. So here, oh, okay, so it's going to be part half and half, I guess. So 10 units from Caesar's army. Oh, it seems like more Caesarian troops are coming through of Caesar's. Because this is way more than 10. Romans ready for duty. And then Mark An <laughs> for Mark Anthony I get his cavalry. And one uh, legionary unit. Mark Anthony and all the cavalry march over here and then there's one legion unit from the 13th will make its way to the flank over there and then Caesar looks like these guys are gonna march straight on so let's have Caesar's troops move over here where there we go, so there's all his legionnaires, gonna throw, throw through all that water. Move over here, Caesar's catapults. 
flammable rounds. Let's see if you can get over there. And then Caesar and his cavalry can be stationed over there. Now hopefully, and as it seems, the enemy is not actually waiting for the secondary army before striking us. Which I like. Which I like a lot. Which army is this though? Is this the one with the champions? Or is this... we've got Batavian Axemen, Swordmen... So this is not the army with all the champion units. Yeah, the Nervi champions are all over there. The 12th will kind of reorganize the army. A bit. I'm gonna pull back a bit. Let's see, Caesar's cavalry. So we got four cavalry units. Can organize themselves against this one unit coming in over here. And then Mark Anthony and his cavalry can go against that one mercenary noble horse, which seems to be advancing right now. Need to keep an eye on what these bastards are doing. Defensive Testudo to protect against the. Uh, the ravages of the enemy archers. Let's see if we can strike that one from multiple angles. One of our units has used all its ammunition. It's going pretty well over here. At the same time, the main fight is kind of about to start. Drop. Your testudos. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Let's see, melee losing. I think we'll change that pretty soon. Cavalry units suffering heavily against the enemy mercenaries. Once I uh, strike them from multiple angles, that's going to be a change. The cohort out here is being attacked by multiple cavalry units. Wrong bloody uh, thing. Right. Tenth. Move with all haste to encircle the enemy. With all the cavalry now surrounding that one, we should be able to start breaking that one. Shit, there. This cohort. Completely cut down to 45 men. There's a lot of places where uh, the kind of line is buckling. One of our units has used all its ammunition. We've got only swordmen over here, so we should have pretty good chance of actually charging these guys from the back. It's only 31 men though holding the front. Mark Anthony's moving over to kind of scare these bastards. Don't really have time to wait. Get the 10th in there. Cavalry managed to kill the enemy with the larger battle. The problem is, of course, that you don't get as much like close-up view because there's so much I need to keep an eye on. Like, the front line is always getting murdered. Nineteen men left. This one's more or less gone. Take two of these. Take the other two. Go around. Mark Anthony over here. The tenth is moving in. Let's see if the tenth can get into good positions 
before. Oh shit. Ah, oh, god damn it! This is a shameful display. I hate the fact that the uh, Roman legionnaires are so utter shit. Our men flee the field of battle. Oh, this is why I never try to do uh, field battles because I always lose. Because they're f they're so shit. Fire these ones. And the worst thing is, is like I'm losing these like really high star units or high uh, whatever you want to call it. I lose like them like killed to the man to the point like there's no one left. Men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. No wonder I would flee too if I was that shit. It's lucky that it's uh, like it's uh, this this one uh, legion that. Let's be frank. Uh, we don't care too much about. It's not Caesar's legion, is it? But the tenth is in danger of being encircled. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And it's in a like in a b very bad position, right? Because uh, what is it that's going to encircle us? If it isn't, uh, why did I tell you to move? Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Okay, hold on for a bit at least. A nearby champions. The entire idea of sending this army over here was to counteract the fact that the nearby. Uh, shit. Okay, the enemy is surrounding us over here the with the general is dead. Nice. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Look at this. This one's losing tons of men. Because it's dealing with those champions and their massive charge bonus. Oh, it's lead cavalry versus spearmen, that's not gonna work. I want to keep an eye on the 10th, units of the 10th. This one's not doing too well. We're gonna peel this one off and go over there. Men flee the field of battle. Uh, this is a shameful display. What is this, the 13th? Infantry at your command. Oof. Let's slow down. I want to see what's actually going down here in the swamp. So, who was this? This was Mark Anthony I charged in. To try and break this one so they weren't actually surrounded. Or no, this was the other legate. Oh, it's Caesar! Caesar, you will retreat. These are some units of the 10th and some unit of the 7th. Let's get the cavalry away from over there. So... Are you facing the wrong way? Yes, you are. What are you doing over there? Strike here. Our men flee the field of battle. Strike over here. Cavalry, retreat. Or move away, I should say, not retreat. 
one shit unit has made it through. The giant ballistas will retreat. There's no point in having you over there. See if you can charge in somewhere, do some damage. Can we get at least like one shot off of this catapult? The main thing is I want to kind of save as many units of the 10th as possible. Who's this? Oh yes, Lapidus. Um, or was it Appius, I mean? Appius Morrow. You're supposed to be up in the fight. Caesar. I think I can win maybe over on this side. Are you being shot down by these? Of course. Charge there, then you could possibly do something. We have a few units of the 10th down to 50 men, 50, 70, something like that. We've got two units of of the 13th coming in. Going to be able to turn this fight around in my favor. I was hoping this charge by uh, Mark Anthony was going to break these guys. Maybe I should have uh, used the ability before I charged in. Thing is also, I don't want to lose Mark Anthony, do I? Shit unit of 12 men, so I managed to survive. And uh, are behind. Uh, let's see, general, cavalry units. I'm gonna strike this one in the back. Is there no, no like, uh, I would like to see, oh, Our men flee the we have a few units re uh, surrounded here, one of which is uh, the first cohort. Certainly not very nice. Why are these breaking off? Oh, that's why. So there's a massive cavalry charge going in. Right, Mark Anthony is slaughtering this one. The unit is winning. Where's Caesar? Guys, Julius Caesar. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Let's see, what is this unit? It's all of the... Um, of the ally or the first army they went in. I want to see just I don't want to lose any of Caesar's really good units. I'm gonna move forward and raise the banner and hopefully that's gonna help some of them. Just a hold for just that little longer. I'm gonna get the cavalry units to retreat. Oh yes of course Ballista, why don't you fight to the very death so that your skill, which is entirely based upon you firing your stupid shitty Ballista is wasted. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Cavalry charge. Go after them. They're going after the legates. Then again, I murdered some of their units. Supporting these. There's no point in really charging in. Where is this? Ah, it's one of the... Uh, we're gonna sacrifice this cavalry to kind of save Caesar's unit over there. Caesar employed, uh, implored these to hold for as long as possible, which we might very well, which they might very well do. I'm gonna get pretty 
good. Once these cavalry units have smashed these, they can smash that one. Nice. The 13 is here. Titus Pullo and his friends. He's come in to kill off the barbarian bastards. Here is going to be uh, the one that does the most damage. And then charging in against these spear guys. Used all its ammunition. That's going to be a victorious move. Thing is, mm, don't actually follow that one. Cavalry, you will go for that one. So the cavalry will go for these guys, and this one will go into back of that spear unit. We got a cavalry kind of breaking down. Ooh, I've got one really good legionnaire unit here, which it would be nice if I could save, but I don't think that's going to happen. At least if the unit just flees and survives, that would be nice. Good support here against that spear unit. Cavalry stopping these guys. 13th fighting these spearmen. Ooh, they just, there we go. I talked about that attack or that kind of move where he spears a guy in the head. Similar to the one where uh, he in Shogun 2 when he throws the Naginata into someone that's charging towards them. Actually not starting to... Uh, it's starting a little bit to turn around. Let's see. Seven men, that's probably not enough. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Can make sure that I hold my bowmen. Whittle down these uh, spearmen, but I need you to get closer to actually shoot these guys in the back. So it's one out of this, so this one probably died. The other one survived, possibly. 13th, I'm getting more, four more cohorts out of the 13th joining in. And I mean, it's not going super bad anymore. Once their charge bonus kind of wears off, we can hold kind of a little bit of a fair fight. we got another bowman coming in. The ballista. Let's have the cavalry join in that fight. And continue fighting over here and let's go back now I feel that I kind of or you know what if you want to leave then fine units have been discovered let's see if we can surround the enemy over there oh Caesar being charged by a spear unit surround the enemy over there that does not sound good Shooting in loads there. Actually, Caesar is the one unit to uh, that could uh, be killed because he would then just be uh, wounded and he would come back. So he would be the one. The enemy general is dead. He can brace himself into the breach. So now both general are dead. Ooh, the tenth, they're holding on there. It's a very hard fight. Get the bowmen closer. To make sure they hold, we're gonna move the legates closer. Ooh, they're breaking now, they're starting to break. 
starting to break. This fight is being won. And this fight is slowly being won. We've got two units of the 10th down to about 25 men each, maybe even less. And, I mean, they fight like heroes. Like gods. They've been uh, holding out against the enemy. And now the fight is turning against the enemy. And support is arriving. You know what? It's just two uh, sword units. The legates will come in from either side. And charge, presence, and loyalty of the 10th. Caesar charge in. And the other two legates also charge in. And then we'll scare them. Oh shit, what was that? That was the one ballista. Uh, no, do not fire. As far as I can tell, no, none of the legates have died, which is good. And there's only this one spear unit left. Which is uh, getting absolutely destroyed by the bowmen. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and pause here just to check that all the legates are left. So Mark Anthony is still alive. Caesar is still alive. He's got two arrows there in his shield. And uh, what was this called? Appius. Maro. Ap Appius Maro or something like that. He is also alive. There's actually one more unit, which is this Romans ready for duty. ship bastard unit. And the devil. Spreader. Oh, look at this one. Down to four men. I don't think that one... Or Romans both of them. They're down to nine men. Then Those units are not going to survive, though, which is a shame. The last hurrah. Ooh! Two of those uh, bloody spear them in the head. Surprisingly, a high casualties on my unit. Supposed to be a. I think that's a. What is that? That is the 13th. And it's a. It's a. They have what, six. seven chevrons. Eight chevrons, I think. Um, and yet they took in melee, losing decisively. What the? F what is that unit, though? What are they fighting? Just spearmen. Not chosen spearmen or anything. Just spearmen. Right. Legates, make your way over here. Support this. So I lost some important units, but uh, more importantly that I destroyed some Nervi forces. But damn! It's... It's very heavy casualties. But the thing is, I mean, I still won, didn't I? So... That's good. And I mean... You do want a bit of a challenge. But I think it's a bit much where this, which is just a spear unit, the, um, the <laughs> something spear unit, and, uh, I wonder if it's, um, e <laughs> even combat, winning slightly when we go ahead and bless them like shit. That and also one unit started throwing uh, Pila on them. Can't 
cowards running away. We await Ready. your command. Commander, orders. Orders. Oh, ah, oh, this is, these are new from the 13th. Where exactly are you guys gonna run to? I mean, over there is, um... I mean, out there is, what, Spain? No? That's... Wait, where are we? No, over there is, like... Africa. Across. What, you gonna... Are you within range? Okay, I think they've realized they're gonna have to go against us. And I'm gonna wait until the perfect moment to go ahead and uh, release all the peeler. Right. One of our units has used all its ammunition. That's what you get, you bastards. Gonna be uh, hedgehogs, porcupines kind of surprised that a few of them survived more so I'm surprised that the unit actually held as long as it did after that jeez right end battle costly victory no wonder but um, you are victorious but it was cost I'm victorious and I've destroyed those two armies and that's enough it's gonna take the enemy a lot longer to uh, rebuild those Hopefully, then it's going to take me to uh, go ahead and replenish my men and be on the front line again, capping uh, provinces. But yeah, let's go back to the campaign map, shall we? I think we've got the worst result yet. Oh jeez, look at this. So it lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cohorts, uh, leaving only four, five actually. Uh, Marcus loses three units of legionary cavalry and Caesar loses four of his elite 10th legion cohorts. Luckily though it saves quite a few but damn those that fought there for so long. I mean this one killed or captured 400 men. This one 300. 400. I mean I complain that they hit that the Legions don't are not as great as the barbarians, but look at the kills It's damned high for all of them And obviously we lost one of his own his own jury because uh, no that wasn't the one that wanted to retreat This was the one that didn't want to retreat Surprised that all these cavalry units survived uh, so yeah, as I said, probably one of the worst results. Out of 9,000 men, 5,000 were killed. However, the enemy were more or less utterly slaughtered. Uh, both of the armies seem to have actually survived, which with one arrow, <laughs> with one bow unit in each, somehow managing to survive. There's not going to be enough troops to replenish in this region, so I think these three legions probably have to move back into Roman... Um, Roman, ru Roman, Roman territory. No slaves there. I'm gonna kill a lot of them. Uh, which is kind of annoying that these bastards managed to survive. Oh, look at this one. Look at the seventh. And they're in the swamp. Even before Smarts, they're not gonna go 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 anywhere are they uh, right you're gonna make your way back there I guess Anthony is the only one who can kind of pursue them Caesar is also in desperate need of uh, replenishment but also new recruits so he's gonna move back there as well and Mark Anthony which only lost cav cavalry it seems Cavalry, and I think he lost an archer. 
Uh, or did he lose one of? I he must, I might might have lost one of the th thirteen, but I don't think so. So yeah, um, we took out three of their armies. They still have at least three more. Uh, hopefully not within range. Now he's put himself in a fortified position, but he might have range to move all the way down here, so... There is definitely some risk. The idea could be to have the 9th take this and fortify it. The enemy would draw upon it. But that would be a hard fight, if because they'd probably bring in two stacks to attack that. Probably not that good. Anyways, we had the battle in the marshes, and uh, it's a shame that we didn't absolutely destroy them. Two shitty archer unit managed to survive. I don't think they're going to be able to cause any mischief though. There's even with just one unit of Volgus, I think I could uh, take them on. Uh, this area has more even than one Volgus, I believe. Because it has uh, ships, so that would be enough to stop them. With that said, as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!